Hi, my name is Emma Sullivan and I'm here in the Bothy at the Victorian Walled Garden at Kylemore Abbey. And for Culture Night 2020, I'm going to read a poem and it's called Donal Oak. It was written by Lady Augusta Gregory in the 18th century. It's her translation of an anonymous 8th century Gaelic poem. And it's a traditional lament by a heartbroken and abandoned girl. And it's very rare that you can find a translation which can both refresh and breathe new life into the language that it enters. And uh, Lady Gregory's contribution to the Irish literary revival was not only in her translation of these old Gaelic poems, but also her ability to showcase the Irish culture and also to make the depth of the Irish language accessible to the non-Irish speaker. There is a very rich narrative throughout the poem and that allows the reader to share the emotion of the speaker and her immersion in day-to-day -day life, daily activities, everyday life in Irish uh, rural countryside. I chose the Bothy here in the Victorian Gardens because I imagined Lady Gregory coming here for wonderful receptions in what was at the time Kynmar Castle with the family there, Mitch and Henry, and uh, they were very well liked and respected in the area as landlords. But I also imagined her being very much intrigued by the life and the stories of the tenants on Kynmar Estate and the local men and women here in Connemara who both built the estate and worked on the gardens. So this is Donal Oak. It is late last night the dog was speaking of you. The snipe was speaking of you in her deep marsh. It is you or the lonely bird through the woods, and that you may be without a mate until you find me. You promised me, and you said a lie to me, that you would be before me where the sheep are flocked. I gave a whistle and three hundred cries to you, and I found nothing there but a bleating lamb. You promised me a thing that was hard for you, a ship of gold under a silver mast. Twelve towns with a market in all of them, and a fine white court by the side of the sea. You promised me a thing that is not possible, that you would give me gloves of the skin of a fish, that you would give me shoes of the skin of a bird, and a suit of the dear silk in Ireland. When I go by myself to the well of loneliness, I sit down and I go through my trouble. When I see the world and do not see my boy, he that has an amber shade in his hair. It was on that Sunday that I gave my love to you, the Sunday that is last before Easter Sunday, and myself on my knees reading the Passion, and my two eyes giving love to you forever. My mother has said to me not to be talking with you today, or tomorrow, or on the Sunday. It was a bad time she took for telling me that. It was shutting the door after the house was robbed. My heart is as black as the blackness of the slow, or as the black coal that is on the smith's forge, or as the sole of a shoe left in white halls. It was you who put that darkness over my life. You have taken the east from me. You have taken the west from me. You have taken what is before me and what is behind me. You have taken the moon. You have taken the sun from me. And my fear is great that you have taken God from me.